it's very cold. Um, we've got a big week this week, so we're subcontracting this week to a friend. Um, but firstly, I need to go get rid of last week's rubbish. Um, but this week we are doing 45 square meters of herringbone, 16 meters of herringbone, and then one more job which is another 16 meters of herringbone. So the first one today, I think we're going to be doing a lot of ply boarding. The second one's ply boarding. The third one's a screed. But we're on the first one for about two, three days. I'm going to try and do it in two days, but 45 square meters on my own with a border as well. Ply and fit might be quite difficult, but give it a go. Yay. Ugh. I know it's not tidy, but it, it'll do. <laughs> All right, now that's done, let's go load up the floor and that was not fun. It's freezing, my hands are bitter. <laughs> I always put one of these screws in because all of this would just absolutely destroy all of this. Oh. Just to go into this frame here, so it don't move. board. I'm just going to pop a patch down on now. Hopefully that will dry it and we can start fitting. It's a new day. I just realised I didn't even show you the rest of that job yesterday. Um, there's a reason for it. It's basically when I turned up yesterday, there's, so there's three rooms. So you've got a kitchen, diner, and utility, which is what I'm classing as one room. And then you've got a little box room, and then that lounge, which you've seen previously in this video. And the problem was the fact that how the the box room was concrete and the kitchen utility was also concrete but the dining room was plywood or floorboards now obviously i took loads of plywood with me yesterday because what i was kind of on the job sheet it was kind of missed on the um the what the, the quote the the inspection whatever you call it um and it's you know stuff happens it is what it is so i will show you the rest of that job um, in a minute, but I've just got to go load up some smoothing compound, latex, again, whatever you want to call it, 
Um, because um, today we can crack on with the kitchen diner and then screed the areas up ready for tomorrow to fit and uh, hopefully we'll get that bit that I applied yesterday we'll get that fitted today as well um, I always make these plans but they, they, they never work out <laughs> um, I am extremely bad with my timekeeping skills so uh, whatever I say just, just take it with a little pinch of salt If you're ever going to get your floors done or any other trade done, move the stuff for them because I'm just as strong as you guys. And I'm on my own, I've just had to move these two machines. Just, I'm in a little one at the moment, but, but just, just try and do it. much done as I wanted to uh, um, obviously you, you'll see well whichever way I edit it you would have seen all that plywood and moving all the furniture and then doing this moving compound and it hit about two o'clock I was like I need to get this room done and then uh, it's just it didn't happen <laughs> it just didn't happen I've got, I, I left my knee pads at home this morning and everything hurts, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm like 50 minutes from home as well, so currently it's half four, just, yeah, at least try and see the kids before they go to bed, but it just means I've got a bigger day tomorrow than I would really want to have. But hey ho. It is what it is. Uh, we'll check in tomorrow morning. We'll carry on doing what we gotta do. Hey guys, we're on day three. Um, let's take a little walk through, see what we've got so far.
truly done for the day. My back's killing me. I've got sciatica, but enough of my problems anyway. Um, so, got the lounge finished, which you've seen. Um, got the kitchen finished. Uh, made a start into utility, made a start into the dining room. Haven't even touched the box room yet, so I've patched it already, but yeah, I'm really far behind. Um, just to add to it, I've got to do a screed on a separate job first thing in the morning. I mean, it's only six bags, but it's, I can really do without it, because realistically, that job that I'm on is a job for all week. But... I mean, I don't get a say in the organisation of things. Um, this is the downside of subcontracting. You know, if I it's my own work, I normally do a job like that. It's just that, all week. And then, you know, if you finish early, you know, say you finish on Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, you can have the Friday off. Or if you want to, you can add another job on. Because... We're currently in a time of year, being towards Christmas, where I could make a phone call and add another job. But, yeah, you also got to take care of yourself. And right now, I'm not taking care of myself. Um, but that's a work in progress. Um, so, yeah, we'll check back in in the morning, say we'll go do the screed, um, and then back onto this job over here. Morning, it is day four. Day, day four. Thursday, yeah, day four. Um, we've got utility, dining room, and the box room somehow. Um, let's crack on, see what happens. Hey guys, I know for you this is only like 20 seconds since the last clip, but for me, it's now Sunday. Um, I got this horrible bug, um, which seems to be getting worse and worse by the day, but I need to get this job done for the lady, and quite frankly, so I can get paid. Um, but uh, yeah, for a job, as I said at the start of the video, I said this job, I'll try and get it done in two days, three days, but yeah, no, this is, I had Friday off, I was gonna turn up Saturday, but I was just too ill yesterday. Um, and the problem is if I don't do it today, I'm just gonna have a backlog in the week, and I'm just not in the mood for it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish it off. I'll try my best to video it, but I just want to try and get done and dusted, and then, um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll have a better video for you. It's the first proper video that I've tried to make a start on YouTube, but uh, when I'm better, I'll video more jobs more frequently, and um, if there's anything that I can improve or show you and you want to see, just let me know in the comments or Instagram. Um, direct messages. Um, there's Instagram, which just hit 20,000 um, followers, which is absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, I always message back on Instagram if you ever want to have a chat. Um, I'll catch you in a bit.
is that done? I can only apologise about how messy the video is. You never know, it might actually look okay. Um, uh, next video, I will try my best to make it more organised and more better. But I'm starting one tomorrow, so we'll start videoing on that one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this, so bear with me. <laughs> See you on the next one.